Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. We have some new guests today. This is Bobby the Brain and Boney the Bone, and we'll be talking to more of them later. Today, we're talking about vectors in the plane, and let's remember some things that are important. Vectors in notation, we usually write it like this. U equals perhaps AI plus <laughs> BJ, it's the unfortunate BJ term again. Th th this is math, we can't really help ourselves. Uh, remember, so what does this mean? What is the I and a J? I is not the square root of negative one. Remember, we're, we're doing something different and we have to keep reusing symbols. I, in the, in the plane, we're only in two dimensions, is the basis vector one, zero. And so, look at this. Here's the plane. Here is I, it comes out here to one. And the idea here is that any, all the vectors in the plane, and here's some generic vector, right? All the vectors in the plane are made up of two components. They have an I part and they have a J part. J is zero and one. You'll notice that the norm of i is equal to the norm of j, which is just 1. So they're unit vectors. And they're in the direction here. This is 0 degrees, radians. Actually, we should be talking radians. Uh, we go back and forth between radians and degrees. But in math, especially when you're making computations, you want to use radians, really. Here is pi over 2 radians, or 90 degrees. But this whole idea, what does a basis mean? It means that we can construct any vector in the plane using these two thusly. Uh, oh, and I brought the uh, t-shirt of semi-disgust back to clean the board. But let's see how we can do this. And I know I brought this up before, but it's really important. Eventually, there are those of you who are watching this who are really brilliant, and you're going to go on to linear algebra and other serious mathematics. And having some kind of feel for this is going to be great. Oops. So how do we write this in terms of this basis units, i and j? Well, this is a, 1, 0, plus b, 0, 1, right? This is a times 1, a times 0, remember how this works, plus b times 0, and b times 1. So this is a, 0, plus 0, b. This is just A and B. And I brought this up because I want to get this idea about notations. This, in the context we're talking about, is exactly what this is. This is what this means. Here's what it means here. So here are, and actually I have some colors. Hey, Bobby the Brain. Hey, vectors are cool. Okay, so what it means is that here is the a component of this. So A is the magnitude, right? So this is the AI. The A is just a number. It's a magnitude. And similarly with the B. And this needs to go up a little more. That's about right. Or we can do so this is the BJ component. And the vector is composed of two of these. Remember when we do vectors, this is vector, this vector plus this vector. How do you find it in the plane? You take the tail of this one and put it on the head of this one, and then you connect the dots. We already went over that in a previous lesson. But I just wanted to go over this again. It's spring as we are filming this, and there's two cats and a hairy dog in my house and I have allergies so the sniffling thing probably won't go away. Trust me, I know how annoying it is. Nothing I can do about it though. Well, nothing I can do about it realistically. I was thinking about feeding the cats to the neighbor's dog, but I like our dog so eh, it just can't be solved. There are certain problems in life that can't be solved by feeding it to some other larger animal, which is a shock, I know, to many of you. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this segment is your homework problems, because these are good things for you to see. Okay, 
Uh, it says find the norm of PQ when P is equal to 30 and 12. So this is, remember, this is, oh, good Lord. Hey, look, it's Stink Owl. He came to say hello. Say hello. Hello, boys and girls. See you later, Stink Owl. Okay. So we're, <laughs> we're going to find the norm of P and Q. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, the point P is 30 and 12, the point Q is 25 and 5. We want to find the norm of the vector PQ. Remember, the vector PQ is, I suppose I should, I'm going to draw very quickly uh, an approximation of this, but I don't want to be too accurate. P is 30 and 12. Let's just say this is 30 and this is 12. So here's this point here. Q is 25 and 5. We'll say this is 25. This is 5. Here's some point here. Here's this vector, PQ, drawn reasonably shabbily. But it's just an idea of what this should look like. Here it is in the plane. Let's figure out what the norm is of this. And the norm, of course, is the simple Pythagorean theorem, right? So whatever is this distance, this is y2 minus y1 squared. The norm of this will equal this squared plus uh, x2 minus x1 squared. And of course, we have to take the square root. So we could say the norm squared is equal to this squared plus this squared. OK, so let's do it here. Uh, so PQ, we're going we're gonna to call this one x1, y1. This is x2, y2. It doesn't matter at all if I would have named it the other way. The only reason I had this one be x1 and y1 is because this is starting out the vector. But remember, when we're taking, when we're uh, squaring things, we're killing off minus signs, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, let's do it. So we have 25 minus 30 squared plus 5 minus 12 squared square root. This is the square root of negative 5 squared plus negative tw or 7, uh, 5 minus 12 is negative 7 squared. This is the same as the square root of 25 plus 49. This is the square root of 74. If possible, we should clean up the square root of 74. Let's look at it. 74 is what? Uh, 3 times 37. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Duh. 2 times 37. Let's try it. Hey, it's early. Shut up. Uh, 2 times 37. Yeah, uh, this doesn't really simplify, so not, not uh, significantly. So we'll call this square root of 74. I, I think this is pretty easy and it's pretty straightforward. So we're going to go on to the next thing. How much time do we have, Mr. Producer Man? We only have one minute and the next problem is going to take a bunch of time. So I'll let Brian the Brain, was that his name? Okay, kids, do your homework. We'll be right back. Oh!